Kubor Nagashlem Jo Nongsan Hima. U Menteri Rangba Kejela Konrad Kongkel Sangma Hagasni Baar Jong Katayo Kashitarik Urisau Arajar Arpusau Ula Pleipat Ba Ya Yaka Make Arise Nagabenta Ka Omyo Catchment Program Kaba Penpao Yaka Duck Bakisin Jam Balashim Naka Sorkar Banya Kren Halor Kajinya Da Naka Jing Kurdu Um Hapo Kejela Mekahalia Yaka Naka Jing Sedang Laya Trailang Bat Ka Germany KFW Development Bank Naka Bapen Lai Jing Bud Halor Kumno Ban Pentemai Bat Penek Pensa Yaka Mariang Baru Ka Jing Yai Nek Slem Ka Jing Yok Yaka Um Haka Nong Bat Shalong Naka Bapen Baha Yaka Jing Don Baru Ka Jing Yada Ya Ka Um Haba ajing keren dengan dengan seni dengan Leon Konrad Sangma ulah pentip ru. Baling ba ke jingnya rap pisah ke bahaduk lai spa asa pusau kelur tingkah. Ke thong jong ke make a rise. Ke long ban yadai kita long um. Jong ke um yo bat ke ganol. Ke ban pen mentoi ya ke nong ba selong bat ke turaru hagaju ke por. Syusuk hagan dengan seni dengan Leon Konrad ulah pelipat baru. Ya ke sustainable land management megalia project. Malah orang begini ke projek katemu ban penkeo ya ke jingtong bat ke rukum rep ke bayaha bat ke mariang ke ba angnut ban penkuk bor ya ke nong rep ke ba keren syap hang ke jing e bat ban penlong ya ke yo ke ba baha bat mentoi baru ke badan ke jing e dayin ke bentang ke rukum penmi ya ke marep ke ba klem klek dawai Kini kan ya rap ruun ke bentar, ke rukum rap tenrai, bat ke ban penkeo, bat penyar, ya ke jing e day hapeneng, ke ba rap, bat ban penhe ru ya ke yo. Ula pentip sesu, dah kaba ong bagi ni projek, kin pen iru ya ke jing terang jong ke jela, ban penek pen sa ya ke rukum yok nong, baru ban penek ya ke mariang, ya ke bala yarap kersan dah ke Megalia Basin Management Agency, bat ke Megalia Basin Development Authority. Hak ni kesini lalur Konrad Sang Malay dan langru ke Menteri ke Tanat Karep Karyang, ke Sorkar Jela, ke Dr. Maisel Amperin Lingdo, ke Dr. Florian Wainike, Napo ke KFW Bank ki Officer Sorkar lembat kiwai kiwai. Maybe have a round of applause, please. Melit area that side. As we all know, our country is rich in natural resources, and also dentring also is one of them. Our village cover about about 83 hectares of land, home to about 80 to 90 households, which is at the elevation of around 1,750 meters above sea level. However, nowadays we face significant challenge from water water scarcity, especially during the harsh winter season and also sometimes during the spring season. Since we ask our primary water sources come from neighboring village of Mauhan Pasir, which lies at the backside of this. This project gave us hope, but I want to emphasize the importance of dedication, sincerity, and effort from everyone, especially my fellow villagers, and all who reside near our village within Mlim area. The CMU of ESKC has already carried out a PRA and also the FRA in our village. We have conducted three contests in our village. The first contest is regarding storytelling, second, on sustaining livelihood. And the third one is the, to highlight innovative ideas for soil and water conservation. The top prize in this contest is number three, which was awarded to Basambon Nongklao for its brilliant integration approach to forestation, improved for agricultural activities and farm pond improvement, design and irrigation source to save our agricultural field, which lies below our hill. Over the years, especially paddy farming in our village has suffered a lot because of lack of irrigation and deforestation resulting to make a harvest of less than what we have, of 50% less than what we have in the previous 10, 15 years back. Basambo Vision treating the upper catchment by planting trees, but by planting these trees will definitely improve the yield of paddy field which lies, and other agricultural activities which lies downward in his area, and improve the farm pond also, which store the water flow to all the agricultural land which lies beneath that place. What we do today will shape the future of our generation to come. It is also a collective responsibility to carry out this burden, not just for ourselves, but also for the sake of our future children, our grandchildren. Together we can build a village and rich state, rich of resources, which will be a sustainable, secure system. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to the government of Megaya 
and not the Vice Chairman Chief for Honorable CM for bringing the scripture project to protect our Umyo catchment area. My sincere thanks also go to the KFW Development Bank for the general support and funding to make this a reality. Let us continue to work hard in facing all these challenges of climate change in adversity as we will bright the future which is more resilient tomorrow together we can build. Thank you. Kubeshibun Nitela. Sustainable agriculture and natural resource management. I appreciate the beauty of Meghalaya's landscapes and the opportunity to engage with its unique rural communities whose livelihoods these projects directly aim to support and enhance. With these words, I wish that the projects become successful, providing a great impact and support for the state of Megalia, its marvelous people and amazing nature. I would like to thank you for having me, given me the opportunity to be here and share my thoughts with you all. Thank you. In the accreditation of BRDC as an organic certification body, making it only the second state in the Northeast after Sikkim getting this accreditation. I'm looking forward to a continuous and enriching collaboration between KFW and the government of Megalia, underlining the potential of these projects. Pajulaban Mudur Halbunai, October, Bangin Nanyaya, Tangda Iblaus Ibasta. Nijuya Puson Yakanika Jinjane Hangishia could not wait things or car was new. May Mangi Tanka take us or car, but they get down back to Kitching Snubro. Or a lock by it. Clamp up him, don't you moon? Casurkar Kalab and let Tom Borbon Kigi Ray Tom Borsheno Niburom Yakaching long dry Jakajum fee. Ban haka nika pol. Kiwan kini kisahep na do kari Germany. Kini kiri ki bakham hakman ha satla ka perthei. Kila shim ya ka rais kalum lang baro. Bangi ki bala kham advance ngin ya rap ikite kiri ki bakham duna ka advancement ha kibobon kiliang. But Nina Aimo Shisha, Yao Chief Minister, Yakine ki he Sorkar Baro. Kaneka project, Kambeka project, Kabadang Super Kat Nin. Your small Chief Secretary Yonkum, no? But your Ikiniki funds through Kalong Kaba E. Compare Ladadon Mano Mano Bo Omba, oh, Ganika Sorkar La Shu Shimram. Iman Kim Pat Shai, Yakatakarukum Shimram Jong Ki Sorkar. Sorkar kam la kun shli shimram hala ka mon la jok. Ndan pa sya ire. Sorkar kami kan badu. Ka badu controlling hand. Ba ong ktin pareng. Ma! Tika e kani ka project. Kani ka project. Kalong na ka benta jong fi. Ba pinyalap yangi. Ban IT ya ka laway. Ka ba bit ka ba biang ye ki kon ki ksiyo ki jong fi ki jong na. Lada ka sorkan kam senang ban berkat ya kan ni Ngatrai kan sadir ka por Bat ki jigma ki bapun ki ap Nga ka benta ka im lang ka sak lang ka jong ni Ka ay ka ta ka organic farming Balay mo pi ki nong rep Pi don kam banday ki nong rep Ki balat nang ki balat stat ki balat tip ki balat skutu I make the man, I part the man, I make her. Kila onum don ya kata ka jing nang ka jing sta. Ray pi pa iki kon ju fi ban wan pulisha sot. Ban wan de ka jing nang ka jing sta. Tang la de plus 12 fi long leg wan o ta ka kampion. Nai wan ju sha snong. Kan ni ka long ka ba bakla shi bo. Ban nga ai ka jing thap ti ye ki to ki nong rep. Kiba pen iya kajing don kam jong kajing nang kajing stam. Ngatarai por baki kren klem supuli deka jing top jong nore jong nore. Ni don kam ya pi ban kentrai kene kakap. K 
Kaya organic farming. Balay ni snow don kam, ban pendang kam, ya ki dawai, ki ba penma, ya ka kendau, ban ki ba penma, ya ka kot ka kia jong, ki nong song song la jong. Kadang kata, ka jing ban, ya ka jing dawa, jong ka kamai ka kaji. Ki nong rap ki ong, ngakwa ban tung yu ne, ukubi, tangma ung ne, ukubi, ude ban pen em, ya ka kot, ka jing puli puti jong a jong ki kun. Ngatung yau ni ukajar, mengakuan yau ni ukajar, bukan peni ya kajing, yo kajing yo kot bangan pet ya kajing, kot kajing kia jom kajing kesem kejungi. Ya kini ki Jerman, ki bawah na do la Germany, na kata kebaki ong ke KFW Development Bank. Kini ki latte sos kular lang, bakari India, baki nyerap yang ni. Banyak rap ya pi kita raja ka, bapinri kendong ya kata kermei mariang kabedon hak kami kepet kejong pi. Ngim kua ya kano kano kabor sorkar ban wan nak jing jubor ban ong ya pi kang kata kati doyong kang kata kang kata kalakut kata kejuk nama nila yo ikam la mansai so tinggi nak kentujur ya pi. Siapa yang nak kencing yang ram? Kesan yang gak bakal sorkar ke ayeb? Hakapor bapi sedang ban penper ya ke rukam reap rukam reng ke jompi mensua pi ay dawai mentangi orang ye pi pin mi kam duna ke jing mi nak kene ke kepel ke jompi siapa yang kene ke song pisah banyak rapat yang ni. Nampak ni semua tua pihak penpak sekolah lagi kon. Ni semua tua pihak penlet pensumar dan sukar apa pang baca tama yang sep. Banyu dikte la ni penbori kinong rap. Kalau nggak bapak kala nampak unong rap udon lagi jong kijing tawan. Kali kafan kembali ayah pi menta kata ia kata. Ya rap yang ni. Penduna ya kijing dan pendon kam ya ki. Sebo kibun penwan lam ya kencing maya kakeper kejongfi anak ketik tau yang syakatang renga seno kengin leh seno pin leh kena way kejongfi berobor ubah ong bahapon kontrol udah ubah seno ubah song sesiliang ubah maham kontrol ubah suka bensu keren kat hak abamon tiki sok ban keren. Pilayawan kat ni, ngakar men baka don kejing bakli, rengkat lang bat ni. Kim lak ban keno ya ke surkan, baka kelut ke mariang, mariang saudong jopi. Kim lak ban le ya kata, ban ngas ngong bang ngikum kejad ban riu. Ngi lapoy ha kata, kejing lak kejong ni. Bangin pet ya kini kejing don kam, kejing don wa, jong kene kejok. Ban nginya bakti, Klik lang ya kalau eh, mana orang yang kikun kejungi ingin persiang ban penper ya kejeng em kejungi, ingin tengkai ya kene ko umbang ko umdi ingin pet bat ingin sim kia ya kejeng yada ya kiklau kibetam, lada pemrai mapi kinong song song kibedai kitrai jaka, ni kesorkar ngimla, kanwan kahan tang bayalan. Namar bang don jing sung tu nak liang ke jongfi, sung tenat cibon, manginnya sim tilang ni kene kekam, ngene beten ketilang, ngi kuak ban penper ya kata kekot kekiak ke jongi, ngah ruka dek ke menteri kekot kekiak, man bang ahap kerana pi sepang ketika ya dah, mendung makuak ban sengap, kiong kene kesorkar kan sepenyap ini di ketika. Sungguh tenang kalau pun pun senang mentah bila yo itu kita kabat piu i klem don cingnya don kencing moromot bat kencing kio. Sungguh tuh bateng kat pi kinong rem. Pi sungguh ba kasorkan kasu penbiang baik ya ki sembai kasorkan kadeban penbiang ya u fertilizer kasorkan kadeban lelon nanong hadong. Ngin persiang nak kaliang kejungi, mangin lelon di kita 
Henry Landam ni tri lang bagkum kini ki financing agencies kita ki bank kum kani ka KFW Developmental Bank nakaliang ka jongmi hite ka jingmi kamna ban moromot ngakermen bahabangi yatrai rengkat pat phi phin panne pansa ya ka memory yang phin ya rap yangi bangin tengkai ya ka ni ka jingdon jing em jong ka memory yang ka jongmi Ban yalam yakane shaki kon baki pateng ki ban wan. I have a very good feeling that this project is going to do very well. Because uh, again, I've, I've shared this in a different uh, platform also. But I was uh, telling them earlier that when I had this remote in my hand to click, so as soon as I clicked, it actually worked. So I thought that it was a good sign. Because I remember many, many months back, I think, or years back, similar thing happened. And you won't believe it. They had actually given me a Tata Sky uh, uh, remote control. And the guy was like, uh, literally looking at me with so much of confidence, like, press the button, press the button. So I pressed the button, obviously nothing happened. Then the guy looked at me again, he's like, do it again, do it again. And of course, I press it after some time. Then the, you know, this, the curtain thing opened. So, from that experience and uh, from today's experience, there's a vast difference. And as I said, I'm very sure that uh, this is a very positive sign for us. And uh, as uh, correctly said by our chief secretary, this has been a project which actually. Uh, has been in the making for almost the last five to six years. And a lot of work has gone into reaching where we are. A lot of people won't realize it because all the things were happening behind the scene. But uh, what you're seeing today, this 10 seconds of this uh, curtain razor that we had, uh, took six years to prepare. So there's a lot of work that went into it. Uh, so I, first of all, would like to really congratulate the team that has made this happen, whether it's from the uh, government of Meghalaya or whether it is from KFW and of course from the officials uh, from the government of India. Uh, all the stakeholders who have worked together to make this happen, I would first of all like to take this opportunity to congratulate you uh, on this great work that you have put in and I'm sure that there must be a deep sense of satisfaction in your hearts today to see that it has finally reached this stage. Um, I just would like to maybe shift gears a bit and uh, just to share with all of you that uh, for a long time I have been really speaking about the economy and the need for us to grow at a much more stronger economic growth rate than we have and uh, again taking cue from yesterday's finance commission meeting we have projected a growth rate of roughly about 12 percent uh, in a normal case scenario uh, for the uh, for the economy of our state and hoping that we'll be able to touch be clear about we want to grow in a sustainable manner we want to grow in a manner in which we take everybody along with us. For us, the community is important. The participation is important. We don't expect that we'll have large buildings and large factories and that's how we'll achieve it. No. While we have those aspirations also, we have aspiration to create a new Shillong city, a new administrative city, a new uh, knowledge city where we will be having the largest football stadium in the country so we'll be having a 40,000 seater football stadium dedicated football stadium is coming up in the new knowledge city because we're all very passionate about football and I'm sure that will ensure that Florian also keeps coming more and more because I'm sure he also is a football fan but yeah I want to share with all of you that that, that those are the kind of aspirations we are we are having because we want to see the growth but while we have that we realize that small things we do matter 
the importance that we give to our uh, uh, environment matters the importance that we give to our farmers matters and today is a testament of that commitment of ours to show you that we care about the environment we care about the water we care about our farmers we care about our community yes we want to move towards you know the 10 billion mark that we are targeting by 2032 we are targeting a 17 billion mark we want that 12% growth but it should come with a responsible mechanism it should come with us taking and carrying everybody along and as i said in a way we have a social responsibility on us to be able to achieve that goal so i wanted to make that very very clear today and today in this project i think all of you are aware that these two projects we're doing uh, it's totaling to roughly about uh, 96 million euros uh, so both the projects put together 55 plus 41 and obviously uh, 91 96 million euros uh, you know uh, roughly I think comes up to about uh, eight nine hundred crores plus minus um, and of course uh, again taking cue from our uh, chief secretary's uh, uh, speech that I do want to make it clear to our citizens that out of this 900 crores though we are tying up with KFW uh, Bank this is a special program under the government of India's uh, support for smaller states and northeastern states especially so though 80% of the component is actually loan but this loan is repaid back by government of India not by government of Meghalaya which means it is a grant to us the loan comes through the uh, Department of Economic Affairs and the Finance Ministry and uh, Government of India takes the responsibility of repaying back that loan and gives it to us as a grant so to all the individuals who are concerned about loan and externally aided projects and World Bank friends all of this is literally uh, a grant of 80 percent that means out of the 900 crores almost close to well there's a bit more calculation left in that but uh, roughly about uh, uh, 650 plus minus crores is going to be actually repaid back by government of india and the amount that we have to pay is going to be paid as a down payment and not as a loan so hence the question of this being adding up to our debt does not arise i wanted to make this very very clear yesterday in finance commission meeting we were explaining all these aspects and what um, cs was mentioning about what is called the special assistant on capital investment again a great scheme by government of india uh, which is an interest-free loan for the next 50 years so just to give an example an idea to what that means is that if we are taking 1000 crores under this long-term loan today 1000 crores under this special assistant on capital investment today we have to pay back exactly 1000 crores in 2074 so if you take 1000 crores in 2024 in 2074 government of Meghalaya will have to pay back 1000 crores no interest nothing that's what the special assistant of capital again a lot of people are saying loan this is not a loan it's literally a grant that's coming to us and that uh, Meghalaya is the highest beneficiary of this scheme Meghalaya is the highest beneficiary of externally aided projects and also in these centrally sponsored schemes we are one of the highest beneficiaries and this is a clear reflection of the commitment and the hard work that this government has done the hard work that the officials and the team has put in and that is why today Meghalaya is on a growth trajectory like never before and I'm happy to share with you that even the Finance Commission has appreciated the different uh, works that has been done and the growth story and even the future plans that we have as a state. And uh, that is something I just wanted to also share with all of you. Regarding these two very, very important projects, again, as I said, a testament 
of our commitment to the environment, to water, and also to farming, especially organic farming. I am very happy that this is uh, finally now taking off. Uh, this catchment area protection has been a big, big issue for us. And uh, we are very happy that almost close to 225 villages will be impacted by the, uh, by the project, uh, which is the Meg Arise project. And the idea is very simple. Uh, this is again something I've been sharing a lot. Uh, is that everything we have to realize is connected to socio-economic conditions. We have to realize and we have to remember that people don't want to cut the forest or go for June cultivation because they like it. No. It's because they don't have an option. They don't have any other way to live their lives, to feed their family. And therefore, it is the responsibility of the government to show that way. So why we are saying let's protect the catchment areas, how do we protect their livelihood? And this is what the challenge was there in front of us and even it's there now. And that is really the crux of what we are doing here today. We are going to work towards creating a sustainable livelihood program for these families so that the dependence on natural resources on the forest are reduced. We may not be able to completely take it away. I hope we can, but it is a challenge. But that's really the crux of the matter. It is a livelihood of the people, which in the long run we have to work towards. See what happened for the, for the coal ban. So when the coal ban happened, it just simply said, tomorrow, no more mining. And this is something our people have been practicing for 200 years. For 200 years, nobody said that this is bad mining. And suddenly, in 2014, you know, they wake up and they say, oh no, stop it tomorrow, you can't do it. This kind of situation is what we want to avoid in the coming years. So, but to realize that it's not just a simple thing. There's a lot of thought process and planning that has gone into what we're trying to do out here. I'm sure that uh, KFW and others who are working with us, they'll, they'll understand what we're talking about. But even in today's climate change and the different issues that we're facing, the concept of just transition is something that is very, very, very crucial to understand. So we have certain ways of our lives, certain ways we do our activity. Tomorrow somebody will come and say, no more uh, zooming cultivation here and uh, no more cutting the trees and forests because climate change is impacting us. It will be a disaster at that point in time for the people of our state and for the region as a whole. And hence, what we're doing now is just transition, which means justified transition. We are allowing you to transit in a slow manner, in a manner that's manageable and reasonable for you. So that five years, ten years, seven years later, we are able to then really shift away from it, which is what I personally feel should have been done even for the coal mining. They should have told us, you have five years to stop these activities, you have 10 years to stop these activities and after 15 years, all this would not be allowed. Please get yourselves in order. And I think that was incorrect what happened to us. Of course, I challenge it. We challenge it in the Supreme Court and we are happy that the Supreme Court has lifted things, the ban. And uh, yes, things are in process uh, and hopefully things will streamline very, very soon. So this is really what uh, it is all about. And uh, as I said, that uh, I'm happy to see that this project has finally taken shape. At the end of the day, the story starts with you and the story ends with you. This is being done for you, for the people, for the citizens who are living in these catchment areas who will be impacted by this. And without your support and your cooperation and your participation, all this curtain raising, all this six years of work will mean nothing. So really, I'm looking forward to uh, working in a constructive manner and taking this project forward. We will require a lot of support from the locals uh, because, as I said, the project is very critical and the impact it has is going to be huge for the, for the uh, entire uh, state and the region as a whole. 
Uh, water is a very, very important aspect for us. Uh, we, uh, I was sharing with, uh, uh, again, some friends uh, that we, we roughly receive about 63 billion cubic meters of water every year and uh, s close to about 61 or 61 and a half billion cubic meters half flows to Bangladesh and half flows to Assam and we are able to retain only about 1 billion cubic meters of water uh, because of uh, obviously our hills and everything so what can we do to uh, ensure that we are able to slow the flow of the water and and, and, and store our water also in the long run. So all these activities are linked to it. Last, I just want to also share that I'm very, very clear on this entire uh, process of realizing that departments and organizations cannot and should not work in silos. Hence, all the departments will talk to each other and discuss so that we don't duplicate what we are already doing and maximize the benefit by converging things that we're supposed to do. In fact, very soon we'll be calling a meeting. This is something we're starting in this financial year itself. We'll be having maybe a two-day session. Again, I'm sharing this with you for the first time. But we are very soon going to have a meeting of all the departments together. Uh, maybe a one, two-day conference. And I expect every department head to share the plans of their development projects for this year to all the rest of the departments. The idea being if soil conservation is going to put up check dams, well put it on the drawing board, show it in the presentation, where check dams are going to be created. So that PHE department can see and say, oh, you're going to create check dams. Can you change the location from here to here? Because that's where the critical water supply is, which PHE may not know. So like that, for example, we're going to do catchment area. So we need to maybe grow trees. So maybe forest department is already doing something and MBMA did not know about it. So let that presentation be given and then forest will say, oh, I have some money. You know, why don't I spend on this? So I think this coordination between departments, reviewing it, uh, showing the plans in the beginning of the year, reviewing it at the end of the year, sitting with departments to plan the next year's implementation so that we know what the departments want to do and they themselves know what they want to do sometimes departments don't know what they want to do uh, is very critical in governance and something that I've seen in the last six to seven years uh, has been missing so this is something I feel strongly that this practice should start and we will be starting it very soon uh, of course it's beyond the uh, uh, you know the discussion of today so I won't go too much into it but I'm still in the finance commission mode I'm sorry you know so I'm, I'm so much driven by yesterday's uh, discussions that I, I can't uh, the inertia is still there in me we'll be having maybe a two-day session again I'm sharing this with uh, you for the first time but we are very soon going to have a meeting of all the departments together uh, maybe a one two-day conference and I expect every department head to share the plans of their development projects for this year to all the rest of the departments. The idea being if soil conservation is going to put up check dams, well put it on the drawing board, show it in the presentation, where check dams are going to be created. So that PHE department can see and say, oh, you're going to create check dams. Can you change the location from here to here? Because that's where the critical water supply is, which PHE may not know. So like that, for example, we're going to do catchment area. So we need to maybe grow trees. So maybe forest department is already doing something and MBMA did not know about it. So let that presentation be given and then forest will say, oh, I have some money. You know, why don't I spend on this? So I think this coordination between departments, reviewing it, uh, showing the plans in the beginning of the year, reviewing it at the end of the year, sitting with departments to plan the next year's implementation so that we know what the departments want to do and they themselves know what they want to do sometimes departments don't know what they want to do uh, is very critical in governance and something that I've seen in the last six to seven years uh, has been missing so this is something I feel strongly that this practice should start and we will be starting it very soon uh, of course it's beyond the uh, uh, you know the discussion of today so I won't go too much into it but I'm still in the finance commission mode I'm sorry you know so I'm, I'm so much driven by yesterday's uh, 
discussions that I, I can't, uh, the inertia is still there in me. Uh, but yeah, so that's